Hello guys, welcome to Elite Professionals. In today's video, we are going to make this amazing template. Uh, so, let me just repeat this process again. So simply right click, go to format background, then pick a picture, insert from a file, then go to where you are keeping your picture, then click on, on that um, picture that this or any of the picture you have to save then you will have it there all right so the first thing we're going to create is a circle shape so go to your shapes then circle shift then draw a perfect circle right so we want two of this okay so one of this is fine then we're going to be creating another shape we're going to create uh, a rectangular shape let's take core rectangular shape here this okay Alright, so yeah, in this and this. So let's go to match shapes, and then I'm going to make these fragments. So I have this, I have this. So this is gone. This is gone as well. Alright, so I'm just going to delete the rest. Then I'll bring this shape in. See, they are of the same size. So I'll bring this in, bring this in, okay, so this is perfect. Then let's grab a rectangular shape. Okay, so I want something a bit smaller. Yeah, this is okay. Look at this, then it's that here. Okay, so. So I'm going to make this transparent, I'm going to make this white, and then I'm going to make it transparent, let's say 50%. Right, so I need one of this again, then resize, then make it non-transparent. Then I need another of this. Make it bigger. Then I'm going to make this color green. This will make it a bit smaller. Plus this, then let's align them. Align center, align middle. Okay. Then bring this to the front.
Okay, come here, drop a draw a shape, a rectangular shape. Okay, so like this white, no line. Then I'm going to need a circle, draw a circular shape. So I'll make this white as well. Online fifty percent transparent. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to duplicate this, make this two, right? Then duplicate again, making it three, right? So I'm going to make this smaller. Okay. This smaller. Okay, plus this. I'm going to align them in the center, then align the middle. Then I'm going to change this color to green as well. So I'm going to change the background. I'm going to re remove the transparency, and we have this. Right? This is not good. Let's remove the transparency. Yeah. So great. Then let's group the two together. Control G. Okay, so what I need now is some icons. So I think I have some icons here. All right, let's go back. Go to Insert, then click on Icons. Alright guys, so now go to your insert, then you need a line, a line with two dots, this should do, okay, so I'm going to connect this to this, I need this to be on the green, and this to be up, okay, so this is fine. Okay, so change this color to be green, then make it 1.5, right? Then the the cap make it round. Okay, no need. 
what you need to do is just go to the end arrow then make this end arrow mm. okay I want something like this let me see if I can get an arrow that looks like that too an arrow type yeah so this okay okay let's make this white okay so this is better and let's shift this a bit to make it in the middle right so this is big or right, that's this smaller and the arrow size I just make it um, look this way 